What is up guys? Today we're going to be solving this problem. All right. Now let's dive in and tackle this. Got further loops open here and I'm going to open up this project that I've been working on. I just saved it last night. I opened it up today and I get this. Now look at this. Some data file required by this project could not be located. And this is the file. You will see the file. Sometimes there'll be one, sometimes there'll be multiple, but right now we're only dealing with one. So let's say you know that you have these files. You just was messing with this program last night. Either one, it was deleted, or two, is you moved it to a different folder that it wasn't in previously. So I have it right here. Let me, we hit no, cause it's gonna try to find, no, we don't wanna do that. We hit no, right here, this is it. This is the same file, the same name, it's right here. If you click it, it's not doing anything. And also if you go into your time uh, line with your music, you see everything else loaded up just fine. But the files that we are missing are right here, it's red and it's not, it's not showing up. So we're not getting anything, this is it. So if you drag this over here, it's not gonna get you anything. Okay, so how can we fix this? The best way and the quickest way that I know to fix this is to open up a program that would, that can convert a MP3 to a WAV file. So I have Adobe Audition CC 17. We're gonna let that load up. So I'm gonna go and find that file, which is right here. So if I open this, boom. It pulls up. It's showing the wave uh, form, the wave form of the spectrum of this file. So we know that it's there. We know it has audio, but Fruity Loops has just lost recognition with it for some reason. So what I'm going to do is hit File, Save As, and switch it from MP3 to Wave. You hit OK. It's saved. Now, if you can find any software that can do that, then the problem should be resolved. And let me show you here. Let's go back into Fruity Loops. Let's refresh this. Boom, right here, Z middle, and it's in the wave file. Now, if I go to this, make sure it's selected. You can hit your middle button here on your mouse. Hit that, and it should pull it back into place boom and if you look over here we got it everything is where it should be and you will want to do that for each file if you have multiple files try to find each one and then convert them that'll be the quickest way that I know if there's a faster way please comment below and let me know but we got it here now so if we play <laughs> So now it's there. The file is there. And I believe that's how we get that back in there when it says cannot find this file. But we know we have the file and it's in the same place that it was at. If it's not, try to put it back in there or make a copy and put it in there. However you do it. But make sure that it's in that folder. If it's in that folder, find it. If you can't see the waveform or the wave file like this, I'm just gonna drag this right under it. It's not giving us anything. Then we need to put it in the program, convert it from an MP3 to a wave, and that's gonna get you the waveform to back where Fruity Loose can register it. Then you save that project, and then you shouldn't have that issue again. 
but if so just take those steps um, to get it fixed and also I suggest that you change the color because it's red and usually the incorporates that were missing files or when you're in the Fruity Loops timeline and you highlight so you can change it to any color I'm just gonna pick this color right here hit enter boom it changed boom it changed now if we select it's gonna turn red rather than having a red one and trying to select it and we're like okay is it selected anyway that's the quick way that I know that to do that so Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. This video helped you out. If so, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and comment below what you think. And we'll see you guys next time. The Young Spirit out.